among those people that were denied visa three times yeah one two three three whole times and she was lucky to get it the fourth trial i'm blessed oh i like that she said she's blessed. blessed she said he's not lucky it's crazy so tell us the great news like the fourth time when you finally got the good news how was it what happened what was that question they asked you that made you get this particular visa i'm even happy you didn't so you didn't carry united states flag to so close <laughs>
no something is fishy i think because community like universities are better than community college yeah. you already have a degree in nigeria you know with a degree your bachelor's then you want to get a master's in a community college that is red flag right that's there. a big red flag yeah that's a big red flag so um i didn't just really know that until one of my friend that was there said cherry the reason why they've denied you the first time and the second time is because of the school you're applying to and again which other school did you apply to apart from this community college i was like i don't know no other school just this one he was like no you have to have at least four to five schools minimum mm. four like three to four schools so you have your options and when they run all this data they say too that you're not lying you have other applications too so that was my biggest uh biggest biggest mistake oh wow applying to a community college. college yeah so did you remember any question that the interviewer asked you that in your mind you're like okay this is a done deal for me can you remember i know it's been like over five years but can you remember any question at all yeah i know they asked me uh so what made you choose what I, i'm studying or what i studied because my major is uh social gerontology is care for older adult like geriatrics we get to work in the hospital assisted living nursing homes uh um, adult daycare home we work directly with them but that's the story for another day so i mean they asked me why did i choose this study why do i want to do it i explained myself my love my passion for it what made me choose the study and then they asked me um what do i intend to do after the study do i intend to stay in america or do i intend to come i was like i don't know i intend to come back to my country to establish uh my adult daycare home so the guy was like 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 okay like you don't have the intentions of staying there because they don't really like it when you come to study and after studying you stay back so i caught that from my friend that i have to answer no i intend to come back home and establish develop my country give back to my country what they've given me and all that so that was it but the major reason was that um the community, the community college, college yeah. was when they denied me the first time i was like no i have to try again i have to try again like i was like okay my family helped me pay for the second interview they denied me again yeah. <laughs> i remember those days like they for interview i'll be waiting after my like, ah babe i found out did you get it <laughs> no i beg i beg i will call you later they denied me again and then someone said oh no don't worry it's lagos lagos is overcrowded they don't really like giving people admission in a uh, visa in lagos try abuja abuja is one hand abuja is one hand meanwhile why i was trying and waiting to try abuja i've already stopped everything i'm doing with that community college now i applied to ucm which is university of central missouri i applied to texas a and m i applied to maryland university and i applied to nju2 which is new jersey university at least i had four options yeah, yeah. so then again i went back to um abuja with mm -hmm. my hopes the site yeah so which school which school did you used to go back to abuja university of missouri right university of central, central missouri. missouri okay yes. meanwhile i had four schools now so okay. i was fully prepared before i told myself no cherry you're not prepared do your research you didn't do that gather information so i did mm -hmm. i gathered information i dropped everything i was doing with um the community college, the community college. i got four more schools apply to them you know write all my intentions and everything out of the four i got to um i20 okay so two gave you admission yes okay and i took i took the two to the interview okay yes just a proof that i've already been accepted in the school yeah so that's it okay so so you changed your school and mm -hmm. you now booked another interview in abuja yeah and this is the third time now this is the third time now okay. and this time i told my sister that this is it i have everything i have everything i have everything this is it like just be ready i'm coming back with the good news i went to interview 
I had was fun then. Mm -hmm. So um, when I got there, I remember the guy, it was a man, he asked me, um, what's my intention traveling to abroad? Why can I what can I do my masters in my country? I told the guy that I already have my basic knowledge from education and knowledge from my country. I already have my higher education from my country. I would love to get my master's to have a Western education and then come back and implement whatever I've learned from United States of America into Nigeria. I would really love to help develop my country. So the look he gave me was like, like convincing look like i like this yeah yeah so he kept on asking me questions i should tell him more about what i'm doing mm -hmm. how it's going to benefit me in future and my country i told him everything and he was like there like shaking his head and after everything he was like sorry you've been denied again damn i everything is documented mm -hmm. i remember the guy said why did you come back to Abuja after you've been denied in Lagos twice? Mm. I wasn't expecting that question. I wasn't prepared for the answer. I was like, uh, I just decided to try this location. Maybe I felt that was why he said, no, this girl, you're not serious. Yeah. You're just trying your luck. Yeah. He said, why did you decide to come back to this Abuja? Yeah, because they would see already that you've been denied twice in Lagos. Yes. In Lagos embassy. He even then. told me the dates. Oh, he even told yeah. you the dates. Mm, yeah. yeah, everything and is documented. He said it twice that you've been denied twice in Lagos. Why did you come back here? Yeah, yeah. that's 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 really crazy. So tell us the great news, like the fourth time when you finally got the good news. How was it? What happened? What was that question they asked you that made you get this particular visa? Remember, I went home crying from from the gate. From the moment I turned my back, I was crying till i got to their gate mm -hmm. yeah the fourth time guys it was the same person that denied me the third time it was the same person that gave me my visa in so, abuja too. in abuja too so look at what happened i came in very early that time immediately they called immediately they opened the gate and they said people should start coming so i was like the second person i did uh the don't print, intro. don't yeah. print the picture and everything. I was in the second line, so we were going. My heart was racing. Everything that happened the last time was flashing on me. I'm like, God, please let them not deny me. So when we got to the interview line, mm -hmm. I was in the second line. I told the third person that was behind me, can you come in front? Let me take a deep breath. Just take my position. The guy took my position. So... um immediately i saw that same man that denied me that same guy that denied me coming out with his cup of coffee you know Ibo now <laughs> coming out with his cup of coffee my heart like raced i'm like i can't do this Damn. look at what happened when they called my number i have my number i should come to window four window four was that same guy apparently he remembered me because when I was coming, there was a smile he was giving to himself, like, this girl, I've come back in. <laughs> this girl again, he don't yeah. want to give up. <laughs> so, um, he started asking me, so how is your morning? He was nice. I said, I'm good, sir. Thank you. And he was like, so how, how can we help you today? I'm here to get my visa to go abroad study. I really need to get this, my master's, because I, I was talking. I didn't want him to ask me next question. I was just telling you, yeah. I was rapping. Like, I, I feel like this time you are now very I confident. Very confident. Yeah. I meet with anger, because when you're angry, you try to do it first, you know? <laughs> I'm even happy you didn't, so you didn't carry United States flag to so close. <laughs> So, yeah, confident in anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, confident. You're like, this is it. This is it. Like, if it is not this one, I'm going to sleep on your gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he was asking me questions. I was answering that, you know, like trying to explain myself. He was still looking down, bringing out his stuff. I brought out my file, opened my file. I have my family pictures. I have my business that I'm running. I don't have any business. So <laughs> I said, I have the business I'm running with my friend. It's just a growing NGO. I cannot abandon all these things and live in America. I have to study and come back. I need to help my country. He was like, there are all these pictures and all these things you're saying. It's not the reason why I'll give you a visa. 
but you've proven yourself to me. Wow. Congratulations and welcome to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I'm god. So happy. Not, I think I think it's I think he just felt pity. Like this is the fourth time, dude. Like just give this girl. And I've this... paid four visa fees. fees. Damn. Yeah. So okay, with this story now, so tell us, Cherry, like what advice? Because people are watch, people are gonna watch this video, right? Mm -hmm. And I know that some people are in this situation because it's not everybody that is lucky. You go for the first time and you get it. Some people try the second time and they give up. So this video right now is to encourage you not to give up. She is a living testimony. She got hers in the fourth trial, right? Mm -hmm. So now, what advice are you giving people that are in these shoes or people who are preparing? Because another thing you should make up your mind is it might not work out the first time. And you need to not like move on from it, but you need to keep trying, okay? So tell us like, okay, one thing, first thing first, what kept you tell us one thing that kept you going to keep trying what was that particular thing that like okay i was i would try and try until i get this what was that what were you looking up to, up to what, what was it really what motivated me is um i already know what i wanted and i knew i wanted to do my masters and i don't want to settle for nigerian masters i want to get the western okay, education um that was what motivated me to keep going and to keep trying to encourage yourself yes, and be your yeah. own cheerleader exactly be your own cheerleader and keep moving okay now tell us do you have any advice for international students oh, yes. who actually want to come study in oh, the yes, u.s i do so from my mistake um i wasn't really really ready because if we hear oh study america your whole body will be excited you won't have time to get your basic research and your basic information i didn't do that all i knew is that i wanted to come to america and get my masters and the mistake i made was getting a community college so another thing i will add is please do your research ask questions do your research because even if your parents don't have the money you cannot afford a university school there are so many ways to get funding and financial aid and scholarship. I know you have done a lot of videos on that. Yeah. You know, yeah. But important thing is, please, do not settle for one university. Don't say, oh, this uh, Texas A&M has given me admission, so I'll go with that. No. Try and get at least three schools. Try and get them to give you admission letter, you know. That is a backup. For your interview and a kind of proof that you didn't settle for one school you're trying this you're trying this or for you to make your choice yeah, yeah because at times they might ask you like i know one question they asked me was like how many schools did i apply to and they how many and how many too. gave me admission they asked me oh i think too. they just want to see like how if you're active, serious if you're serious yeah i was like oh i applied to three schools and i got admission in two and yeah. one gave me funding so yeah. yeah so they really want to active right yeah so um guys i i hope that you guys learned one or two things from this story that my sister shared with you all so to wrap this up please be encouraged, don't give up, keep trying. We can't overemphasize the essence of research. Do your research, make sure that you have everything all sorted out and be confident too when you're facing that interview. They are human beings, you know, so there is nothing. Speak out, raise your shoulder. I did a video about that. Yeah. Do well to share this video with your friends and family. You know, that you know that particular friend that has tried over and over again just tell them not to give up they should keep trying um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already that is the button right there hit the subscribe button and like this video give it a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section ask any question you want to ask should be there to reply your questions i'll be should be there to reply your question i'll be there so you know ask any questions you know tell us what you think about this video Tell me if you want content like this. And um, yes, and um, do not forget, guys, that I love you very much. I know she does too. I love you too. Because you guys are supporting this ministry. We love you guys so much. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.